another one of everything series i am your host mr bevers today we are doing the continuation of fusion gaming located out in winnipeg manitoba that's canada for those of you who don't know um what i'm talking about those weird words that i'm saying um and uh they had quite a few packs um if you remember they've also got a 5k modern event coming up soon so if you want to get in make sure you take a look at their link below and take a look at that and uh let us see what we've got here. So they had 33 packs, so we're doing 11 each week. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? There's our 11, and that should leave us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there you go. So we're going to put those off to the side over there. We've got some pretty nice stuff coming up. An original Modern Masters. A... Morning Tide Pack, Avacyn Restored, some good stuff in there. This week, however, we're going to be opening up Conspiracy Take the Crown, Oath of the Gatewatch, Battle for Zendikar, Magic Origins, Dragons of Tarkir, Fate Reforged, Cons of Tarkir, Corset 2015, Journey into Nyx, Born of the Gods, and Theros. And as always, we will start with the oldest pack, or the newest pack first, I should say, and work our way backwards through time. Because... Isn't that the most interesting way to do it? I think it is. Conspiracy Take the Crown is first. Let's see what kind of crazy cool stuff we can find in here for our patrons. Hail of Arrows. Burn Away. Shimmering Grotto. And our rare... Subterranean Tremors. This is a mythic. So there you go. A nice little hit for the patron pile. Um, it's funny... Um, I opened up a number of boxes of this set back when the set came out, and uh, I opened up two Foil Mythics from this set, and they were both this card. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And we got a Monarch token, as well as a Hired Heist. Alright, Oath of the Gate Watches next. Good way to start. Good way to start. Nice little Mythic. We didn't get too many Mythics last week, so, you know, nice to start with one this week for sure. Alright. Man, Null Color Mage, or no, Null Collar, I should say, and then Reflector Mage, which is what I was thinking about when I said Mage at the end of the other name, because Reflector Mage, this card was like a couple bucks when it first came out, because this card was seeing play in like a whole bunch of standard decks, because holy moly is it good. 2-3 three for 3, that when it enters the battlefield, you can return target creature and opponent controls, its owners can't play that card the next turn. They can't play cards with the same name the next turn, I should say. So it really shuts them off if they have uh, other things um, in their hand with the same name. And then Wall of Resurgence was, was a very good wall from this set as well because it was an 6 for 3 that um, when it came to the battlefield, you put three 1-1 one -one counters on target land you control, and if you do, it becomes a 0-0 zero -zero elemental creature that has haste. Um, and so for 3 mana, you get, a th uh, you get 3 9 worth of power and toughness. Right? Now, I mean, like, if you play this on turn three, chances are you're putting the counters on one of your three lands, which maybe you don't necessarily want. But a 3-3 three, three for three mana is already just pretty good, especially since it gets haste, so you can then swing with it that turn, except that it's tapped, so that's unfortunate. But if you play it on turn four, you get a 3-3 three, three with haste on turn four, so there's not so bad. Hey, look at that, a Thought Not Seer. This guy was a big big player back when this set came out as well. It's worth quite a quite a number of dollars when it were for, was first out. I don't know if it's still there, but I mean, hey, I'll double check the price of course and uh, make sure that it gets into the patron pile if it deserves to be there. Battle for Zendikar is next. Man, that, that Oath pack was like super good. Like, if we had opened that during peak time frame for Oath being in standard, that would have been very hard decisions to make. All right, we've got Battle for Zendikar, Marasa Ranger, Skyrider Elf, Slab Hammer, and 
A Dusk Stalker. Little 5 3 for 4 with haste. Uh, and at the beginning of each end step, if you control no other colorless creatures, return Dust Stalker to its owner's hand. Two full art planes we got there. Look at that. All right. Magic Origins. So we're looking for what? A little Baby Jace, maybe? I don't know. Is Baby Jace still the top the top hit in Origins? Maybe it's not. I think it is, but maybe it's not. Ooh, a foil Baby Jace? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Sylvan Messenger. Gnarl Root Trapper. A Jessian Thief. And... Oh, a Shivan Reef. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's not a bad little... Uh, uh, by color land I don't know what you want to call it it's not a dual land because it doesn't count as both land types but it does make two colors so I don't know what you call it and we did get a foil but it's not a foil baby jace it's just a foil reclaim but reclaim is still a sweet card so that's not bad I'm not going to complain about that we got dragons of Tarkir next I don't remember what's in this set that we want to, want to see opened but uh, I'm sure there is Something that will surprise us, maybe. Echoes of Kin of the Kin Tree. Explosive Vegetation. Great Teacher's Decree. And... Holy moly! There's a Narset. There we go. Boom! Planeswalker. Getting right into the patron pile. There it is. It's always nice to see a little PW... Little PW showing up to hang out with the patron pile. Man, Narset, too. I actually don't know if I own any copies of her, uh, which is kind of funny. So I'll have to look and see. Fate Reforged is next, and as you guys know, we've opened up quite a bit of Fate Reforged. There is the chance of getting some fetch lands in here, so maybe we'll find a fetch land to add to the patron pile. That'd be pretty sweet, too. Destructor Dragon, Jeskai Barricade, Rage Form. And our rare is a mob rule. Not really what we're looking for. Ooh, we did get a foil, though. And it's a foil Abzan Kinguard. So there you go. Oh! Ha! 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 How about that? We found ourselves a little fetch land. There it is. That's interesting. I was just thinking to myself, too, like, when we opened up the fetch in our uh, quickie videos for Fate Reforged, the fetch land was in a pack with a foil, and the same thing happened here, which is kind of interesting. So a nice little windswept heath to go into the uh, into the patron pile, and now we've got cons where we could open up yet another fetch land. Maybe who knows? Maybe we'll find double fetch in this this week's uh, one of everything. That'd be pretty sweet. Secret plans. This card was so so good in limited. It was like amazing because they had morph and then they had manifest. Was it Manifest? No. Or was it? Yeah, yeah. It was Morph and Manifest. We're both in this set, in this block. And so this card was amazing in Limited. Uh, mainly because it just makes your face-down creatures one bigger. So it makes them into two threes so they can block your opponent's morphs without any issue. And then whenever you turn it face up, you draw a card. Like, who? what? That's just amazing. Such a good card. Heart Piercer Bow. And our rare... A trap essence. That's not a fetch land, is it? But it is a thing. So counter target creature spell. Put two one one counters on up to one target creature. And we got a lot of ad cards. Got a lot of ad cards. Twenty fifteen corset. Maybe we'll find that bolas I've been looking for. Oh wait, that's twenty nineteen corset. Right, 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 right. Man, the old corsets too. Tor <laughs> Tormod's Crypt. There you go. Roaring Primadox. Wall of Frost. And... A Hoarding Dragon. So there you go. A little 4-4 four, four for 5. And it says, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card. Exile it, then shuffle your library. When Horden Hoarding Dragon dies, you may put the exiled card into its owner's hand. So it lets you go and find an artifact for later. Journey into Nyx. Alright, so this is where we're going to get into like the... All the enchantments and stuff. And the gods. Oh god, the gods. Spite the Mogus. 
spite of Mogus, I should say. Not spite the Mogus, spite of Mogus. A Crowan Linebreaker. Leonin Iconocl uh, Iconoclast. And a Dictative Crufix. This is not a bad little um, enchantment. It's very fun to play with. Uh, three mana at the beginning of each player's draw step. That player draws an additional card. Another ad. Look at it. See? Another ad card. Born of the Gods. Or as everyone says, Born of the Gamble. Because all you're going to get out of this is a god, if anything. Right? I believe that's what why they say it. Odunus River Trawler. Everflame Eidolon, God Favored General, and our rare. Hey, another Walker, Kiora, the Crashing Wave. There it is. That's a double Walker week we've had. Soon they're gonna call me the Texas Ranger, right? No, I'm just. I, listen, I, bad jokes. I apologize. I don't apologize. It's just, I mean, I apologize only because I'm Canadian. That's just. That's it. That's it. Theros is next. Ooh, we're ending with a foil here in the Theros block. Nice. Chronicler of Heroes, Shipwreck Singer, Triton Fortune Hunter. This card was a was a good card in Limited as well, mainly because of the Heroic lets you draw a card, so when you equip it with enchantments or target it with pump spells and things, you draw cards, which is pretty nice. And our rare, Curse of Swine. Curse of the Swine. Exile X target creatures for each creature exiled this way. Its controller puts a 2-2 two, two green board creature token onto the battlefield. So that was, a, that was a nice everything you had. Too bad now it's all pigs. It's all pigs. And we got a foil. Oh, it's a foil land. Foil swamp. Look at that. Shiny. Nice. I I like, I mean, I'm, I'm a proponent for foil basic lands. I love them. I think they look beautiful, and it really shows off the, the art most of the time, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. This week has been pretty good for us, for the patrons. We've got a Subterranean Tremors, a Thought Not Seer, a Shivan Reef, a Narset, a Windswept Heath, a uh, Dictative Crufix, Kiora, uh, a Foil Land, two Full Art Lands. I'm not going to complain. This was a pretty good week. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to check out FusionGaming.com. I actually, I mean, FusionGamingOnline.com. Their link will be in the description below. And uh, thanks so much. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.